Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be my first non show makeup tutorial. The first one didn't go as well as planned. Really, it was terrible. Don't click on it. If you have 45 minutes to laugh at me, go for it. Click away and have at it. But <laughs> I think this one's gonna be a lot better. Better lighting, better equipment, better audio. Um, better makeup skills. The kicker for the, today's tutorial though is the fact that I'm using all drugstore products. Stuff like e.l.f., CoverGirl, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, hmm, what else? Um, even my lashes are gonna be Kiss lashes. So everything you'll see in this tutorial, you can get at the drugstore and anybody can afford it. So if you like this look, Keep on watching and find out how to do it. So as you can see, my I have nothing on my face. I haven't even put moisturizer, nothing. So what I wanted to do was do a complete start to finish. So I'm going to start off with some moisturizer. I use the L'Oreal Wrinkle Expert Day and Night Cream. This stuff is actually really good. It smells really nice. Uh, it's not too heavy. So I just put a little bit of that on before I put my makeup or after I get out of the shower, anything like that, um, just to keep my face hydrated, moisturized, um, especially in between masks, um, because my my skin tends to be, um, it tends to break out uh, certain times of the month and stuff, so I try not to do too many masks, but I try to do one or two a week. So I just put a little bit of this on everywhere down the neck all that good stuff then this is all before we even put foundation on Ugh. really get under the eyes because that's my like that's my I hate spot is right under my eyes because I've deep set dark circles because I don't sleep but hey you can sleep when you're dead right next we need a primer so for since we're doing all drugstore stuff, I depending on how my face is looking, um, I'll either use the Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer Serum uh, that you can get at Walmart, really inexpensive, or the Hard Candy Color Corrector. Um, as a lot of you know, green gets rid of red, all that yucky stuff down there. <laughs> um, so in this case, though. I think I'm gonna use, since I just did a mask, I don't think I'm gonna use this one. I'm thinking I'm gonna use the green. So just put a little on your finger. That's probably a lot, but so just put a little on here. And rub it in, especially around the problem areas. Um, primer is always great because it helps your foundation stick uh, to your skin. Uh, so if you're going out, um, I would definitely su suggest a good primer. Just because it helps it stick, you know? today the infallible total cover this stuff from L'Oreal brand new I know it doesn't have a cover on it but uh, brand new awesome and I absolutely love it when they talk say it's full coverage it's actually full coverage which is pretty insane I also use before I put this stuff on as another color corrector actually to backtrack a little bit I've been using the concealer palette from the infallible collection one of these. Uh, this is another one it has all the different colors. It's got the purple, the green, all that good stuff. The, f the crazy part is for me, I'm actually finding that this purple on my under eye actually helps with the dark circles. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has like that kind of in deep inset crease. 
and it's actually been helping with concealing that. So I'll just put a little of that under there. Like this is kind of weird for me because now I feel like I'm telling the world my, my makeup secrets. Now y'all see me with, with no makeup on. Which if you know me at all, personally, you know that that is a rarity. Okay, so I just throw a little bit of that on. Then I'll take my beauty blender. That is dirty as hell. Um, this, I actually got at Walgreens. It's the body blender, but I actually really like it for foundation. Um, it's a lot better than the smaller version of a beauty blender that I have here. Uh, I like this one for concealer, but for my full face foundation, I love this. But I'll actually go in before I put in my on my foundation just a little bit just to spread it out just a tad so as you can see it's already kind of covering up a little bit which is awesome and then I will take a concealer brush this actually is a wet and wild one so that's the other thing I'm gonna use in this tutorial I'm not gonna use anything you cannot buy at Walgreens Walmart or CVS so including the brushes so this brush is from wet and wild it was a small uh, I think it was a Christmas pack that I actually got of brushes. So I put, oh, I guess I need more already. I love this stuff. It's thick, very full coverage. So just put a little bit everywhere. Isn't that sexy? And then go in with Beauty Blender. If you've ever used a Beauty Blender, or if you have never used a Beauty Blender, sometimes it can take a little bit more time. Um, but I actually think that the coverage on this is a little better. Uh, worst case, if the Beauty Blender is not for you, you can always use a Kabuki brush which you can purchase off of Amazon. And they do actually have a Real Techniques one as well that I really like. Um, but this is the one that I got off of Amazon. It was like five bucks. It, it really wasn't that expensive and you can... I actually like the Kabuki brush more for the neck. So you can really get everything everywhere. So again, go in with my concealer brush. And I'll actually take some of the yellow from this one. So as you can see, there's a nice yellow, ah, I'll get used to this. Um, the yellow that's right here, grab that. For me, my under eyes is actually a ridiculous process. Um, just because that is my problem area. Um, this helps lighten it up a little bit. Add a little bit of a highlight. As you can see though, I definitely need more of just the purple itself. The purple is fantastic. Um, I haven't actually used it yet, but I'm hoping to give it a try. I want to try the Wet n Wild one. Because uh, it does have the purple and the yellow which not everything has. It also has a white, which is a really great highlighter. So I might actually use that at another time. For my under eyes, I use the smaller beauty blender and I'll just go in and blend this out. This one is a dry beauty blender. Sometimes I'll use a damp beauty blender depending on uh, the look I'm going for or the colors I'm using, things like that in the product I'm using. Sometimes the product that you're using is a little um, thick uh, and the uh, a wet, damp beauty blender will actually help blend it a little bit more. <laughs> so today for concealer, 
I'm going to use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and Corrector. Now, I do like to contour, but I am not a drag queen. I am a woman, so I try to use, I try not to go too crazy with the contour. Um, and I will show you that in a moment. So I just put this on underneath my eyes. What I've been using, though, is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. That stuff is amazing probably my favorite concealer i've ever used and i've used a lot of concealers um i do have a, a, a good amount of makeup of all sorts of brands and price points and stuff like that but that has to be my favorite concealer of all time ever and as you can see you can still see some of the lines um i've actually found for me in particular if I use too much powder or anything underneath my eyes, I actually don't bake um, my eyes because I've actually found it to crease more. So I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong or what the deal is, but that's that. So for contour, there's a couple of things that I'll, I'll use if I'm doing a subtle or a major contour. If I'm just doing a basic subtle one, I'm going to use... Wet n Wild bronzer. Nothing crazy. Uh, this is my go-to. This one's called Ticket to Brazil. This is my go-to bronzer. Um, I love it. Again, super cheap, super inexpensive, and it gets the job done. If I'm going for a more intense contour and I want to do a liquid contour, I use the CoverGirl True Blend Contour Palette. Um, this thing has been beat up. Uh, really, I only use the most of the contour. I haven't really used much of the highlight, as you can see. But even the highlight, I mean, it, it gives a lot, a really nice sheen. Really nice sheen. So, let's see. What should we do today? I think I'm going to go for something more subtle. Because the whole point of this is that, I mean, everybody can do it regardless. But a lot of friends have been asking me to do tutorials like this so I want to do it a little bit more subtle because not everybody likes to go over the top like me so when you do your contour you want to suck in your cheeks and go right along that cheekbone now pretty much all of my palettes are urban decay and you can't get that at CVS. So what I have is a very old knockoff of the <laughs> Naked palette by Maybelline called The Nudes. Ooh. Uh, as you can see, the colors are very similar to the Naked palette. Um, I've used them a handful of times. Let's see how this goes. Get some brushes going. Right. Too much, too many things, too many things. So we're gonna start off, I like to personally start off with my crease. So for this look, I think I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna start with this one. That one, right there. And I'm going to slowly put that in my crease and then drag it over. Again, slowly put it in the crease and drag it over. Now, the nice thing is if this does kind of get on your lid, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, because we're doing it first and we haven't put the lid color on, at least for the for browns and things like that, I like to do it a little bit backwards. Then we'll take the other side of the brush. Again, this is another one. This one's Eco Tools. Got it at Walgreens in a pack. Came with this one. Came with one of these double sided. Very inexpensive. Very very easy to use. So for my 
actual eye, I think I'm going to go with, hmm, I'm going to go with this color. It's like probably a mixture between this one and that one. Those two right there. I'm going to take the more gold one and put it towards the side of my lid. Do the same over here. Actually. These actually aren't all that bad. It's kind of like a first impression. Because I can't, honestly, I think I maybe used this once years ago. And I just kept it in a bag for like in a case of emergency situation. I don't know what kind of emergency I would have, but you never know. I mean, God forbid I lost all of my, my ridiculous amount of naked palettes and electric palettes and all of the beautiful palettes which we will definitely see on this channel I just thought since a lot of uh, my friends who aren't big into makeup yet wanted me to do this I feel like I said this already but you know I thought you doing utilizing regular cosmetics regular. from you know drugstore type stuff would be a great place to start so then Got to do that brow, that brow line, right? So I'm going to use this color right here. That nice, really bright um, white or off-white. And this actually helps blend out that crease as well. And as you can see, we're going for a very neutral look today which I think is a good place to start you can always come back in and touch up your crease if you want to darken it up just a stoke awesome now I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do this on camera we now have the eyeliner now I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do this on camera we now have the eyeliner. Now, I can't lie. This in particular eyeliner, <laughs> I use every day. This is my favorite eyeliner. Uh, it's waterproof. It stays. It is, for how much it costs, I think it's one of the best liquid liners in the market. Believe it or not, it is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. <laughs> I know it might sound absolutely crazy, but I absolutely love this stuff. Everything down to like how it's um, the applicator on it is awesome. Like this little guy, you can you can pretty much do anything with it. I'm still getting used to doing wings. I'm not that great at them, especially because my eyelid actually folds a little bit. So I don't actually have the best eyelids to smoothly do a wing, but I'm trying, I'm trying. So my mirror is right here. So if I do look down a lot, that's why I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm very new to this on top of it, but uh, so I'm gonna try attempt to do the liner on camera. Try not to judge too hard. to have in my life um, I got very lucky with those but I'll still fill them in because I like to make sure that they keep a nice shape stuff like that so in this case we're gonna be using the brow drama pro palette by Maybelline Ooh. so this does come with a gel 
as well as highlight and then a regular filler as well. So I'll just go in and just kind of help make the shape a little bit more pronounced. Just because I do like the shape of my eyebrows. sometimes because this is was the closest one to my natural hair color as you can see I'm more of a pink um, sometimes I'll actually put a little bit of pink in my eyes like on in my brows to make them match my hair a little bit but I'll actually take that highlight color and put it into it as well just to lighten it up just a tad because sometimes this just seems a little too dark especially when my when I don't have too many roots because like what's trying to match so for my waterline, I don't use the same eyeliner, understandably. Um, I use a gel eyeliner. The Maybelline Eye Studio. I've been using this stuff for years. I absolutely love this. I had an Inglot one, which was fantastic. But for the price, I feel like I was getting the same product in this little little container and it's a lot cheaper you know everybody's worried about money nowadays understandably so we don't want to be using you know all of our money on crazy stuff you know why not save up from gel eyeliner and get a really nice eye palette you know <laughs> Actually, we'll use the last Essenza traditional mascara. Now, me personally, the reason why I do my wings so thick is because I don't just do mascara. I I love using lashes. I think it brings any look that you're doing up to the next level, and I think they're absolutely fantastic. So, gotta get that under, under eye. And I don't know if I showed everybody this, but the lash. And I will link everything down below. I just got to, you know, look up all the links and stuff. But I will link everything down below of everything I use uh, personally. So this is the final look. As you can see, we went start to finish, all drugstore. And I think it looks pretty cute. One big thing is if you wanted to make it for like a nighttime kind of thing, if you were going out, all you'd have to do is darken up the crease a little bit. Maybe put a little bit darker underneath and you're ready to go out on the town. Or you can keep it like this, wear it to work. Just wear it out. If you're just feeling wanting to fame, feel glammed out, wear it to church, whatever you want to do. Um, it fits out anywhere. And even better, we use all products that you can get at an affordable price. So if you like what you saw, you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Since everybody asked me to do this, so hit the subscribe button. I hope it's on the side. <laughs> um, and I will definitely do more videos. As we all know, though, I do have my other vices, my other palettes, and those will make an appearance in future videos. However, I thought the first one would be good to that anybody could go out and purchase these things on their budget. So again, if you like it, hit the subscribe button. If you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that little bell so that way you can get notifications for any time I upload a video. That's it for now. Thank you again so much for taking the time to watch my video today, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!